Good day guys, Lordology here. I hope that you legends are all doing well and I'd like to welcome you to a different type of video today where I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get Frosty Mod Manager working. Now this has been requested in the comment sections of some of my Battlefront 2 mod videos as I do know that Frosty Mod Manager can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get working so hopefully this video will be able to help you guys out. Okay guys, step number one is making sure that you go to Mediafire and downloading the newest version of Frosty Mod Manager which I'll leave a link in the description for you guys so you make sure that you download this correct one. Now once you download it, you want to go to your desktop and make sure that you drag from your downloads folder the Frosty Mod Manager zip file. Now I've already done that step and I've put it here on my desktop. Next thing you want to do is right click and you want to open it with 7-zip. Make sure that you do have 7-zip installed. If not, I'll leave a link in the description for 7-zip in case you guys don't have it. So next you want to click open archive. Now this has all the contents that you're going to need for Frosty Mod Manager. Now next thing you want to do is go to folder and you want to call this folder Frosty. So you want to make a new one and then after you do that you want to extract all the contents of this zip folder and put it inside the Frosty folder. Now we'll just let that install and then once we've done that we've got all the contents that we need for Frosty Mod Manager and basically that covers the first two steps. Okay guys, step number three is going to this Nexus Mods link here and making sure that you download the Frosty Editor Localization Editor and also the Frosty Mod Manager String Merger. Now I'll leave a link in the description for all of this so you guys can make sure you download the right one. And once you do that, you want to go into your Downloads folder and drag the zip files to your desktop like I've done here. Now the next thing that you want to do is open the new folder that you've created for all your Frosty content. You want to open up the plugins folder here. Now there's going to be two files in here and we're going to extract these two zip files into this plugins folder. So first we'll do the Frosty editor. Now we're going to open it with 7-zip, open archive. Now we want to put not the localized string plugin, but the FS localization plugin. So I'm going to drag it to the plugins folder. It's going to say, do you want to replace the file in this destination? Absolutely, yes, we do want to do that. So once you do that, then you want to go and do the same thing for this file here. So we want to open with 7-zip, open archive, and we want to drag this merger plugin and put it inside this folder here. Now after doing that, you guys will be able to see we've got all the plugins working. Now, the next step that you guys want to make sure that you do is make sure that you run this as an administrator. Now, I'm already running this as an administrator because I've got that set as a permanent thing on my PC. But if you guys don't know how to do that, basically you right click on Frosty Mod Manager, click properties, go to compatibility, and then make sure you click or tick this box that says run this program as administrator and then make sure you click apply. Okay guys, the next step that you're going to want to do is open Frosty Mod Manager now that we've got all our plugins in our plugins folder here. So we want to open Frosty Mod Manager, make sure we click yes here, and then once we do that, it should pick up the game. If not, what you need to do is click new and you need to locate where your game is. So basically what you want to do is go to local disk C. Now make sure that depending on where your game is installed, I've got it from Steam, Battlefront 2. So if you guys got it from Origin, it should be pretty much the same thing. But basically what we do is we go Program Files 86. Now we're, we want to go to Steam. Now we want to go to Steam Apps. We want to go to Common. Now here is where I've got Star Wars Battlefront 2 installed. And we want to go to the application, which is right here. Now we want to click Open. Now we want to make sure that we click this. And we want to remember our choice. Now next, we click select now that's going to do everything within the alpha 2 uh, mod manager and it's going to load the manifest and stuff so i'll wait for that to get done and then i'll load up some mods so you guys can see how that works awesome so now that we've got frosty mod manager open here there'll be a little tab here called install plugins now you guys want to check this and make sure that all of these plugins that we've um, put in our plugins folder are installed and if they're there then you're pretty much ready to go. Now once you do that you want to make sure that you guys add mod. Now I've got two Darth Bane mods here on my desktop and I've just clicked add mod and I've looked at my desktop and I've selected these two zip files and now that 
that I've got them inside my Frosty Mod Manager. Basically, what I want to do is I want to double click on both of them. And what we want to do is we want to click launch. Now, this is going to launch the game from Steam and it also needs to open Origin as well. Now, as you can see, it's applying the mod and I'm going to wait for this to get done so you guys will be able to see some gameplay. Okay, guys, as you can see below, I've got these two Darth Bane mods working. Now, I did also want to make a quick note about Frosty Mod Manager. If you launch a game from it and it says something along the lines of unhandled error occurred, don't stress too much. Basically, what this means is you've got too many mods that are conflicting with each other. And now this is common, so don't worry if you do get this message. Also, if you guys come across any issues with any of the steps in the video, please do feel free to comment down below as I'd love to help you out with any issues that you may come across. And if you guys did enjoy this video or if you found it helpful, if you could please hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. Cheers.